This is a video tutorial on how to use the Yamaha LS9 16 channel digital desk. The powering up sequence of the digital desks is the same as the sequence used on the analog desks. Desk first, then amplifiers. Once the desk is switched on, you are required to enter a four digit password. The password for this desk is 0000. zero, zero, zero. The navigation controls on the desk are easy to operate using four way cursors up, down, left, and right. These allow you to move around the desk and select different functions. The first part of this tutorial is going to demonstrate PFL and getting a level into the desk. To begin, the channel must be selected and switched on. The Q button puts a PFL on the channel. Headphones are plugged into the front of the desk where it says Phones and there is a volume control to the left of the headphone output which controls the headphone output. The gain is adjusted by using the HA gain knob to the right of the input output meter. The meter displays an input or output level depending on which function is selected. To take the channel out of PFL mode, press the Q button. To enable the signal to come through the main output, the master output level should be brought up followed by the channel fader. At the rear of the desk there are 16 XLR channel inputs which corresponds to the 16 faders at the front of the desk. Outputs 7 and 8 are the master outputs with 7 being left and 8 being right. Also we have the mains kettle lead cable with the on off switch. Next, it will be shown how to add effects and processes to the channel strip. At the left side of the desk, select rack 1 to 4 for EQs and 5 to 8 for effects such as reverb and delay. First, a reverb effect will be added, so we select rack 5 to 8. We highlight the effect using the navigation keys. Press enter and then this takes us to a menu where we can choose our effects. To enable our stereo returns, which is to the right of the master fader, we must first turn the channel on using the on button and we slowly bring the gain up. On the channel strip, the auxiliaries must be turned up. Select the auxiliary using the navigation keys, press enter and then using the selected send knob, adjust as needed. To add parametric EQ to our channel, there is an EQ section on the right of the screen with three parameters. Q, frequency and gain. Different bands, high, high mid, low mid and low are selected by using the navigation controls. To add graphic EQ, this is selected by going into racks 1 to 4 and this then brings up a graphic EQ which is controlled by using the faders.
different bands are selected by using the navigation controls. Also, the EQ can be set flat by selecting the flat function. To select where our EQ is assigned to, we can select the output and change according to where we wish it to be assigned to. The final section of the tutorial will be demonstrating how to save our setting to a memory stick. The memory stick is inserted into the side of the desk and this brings up a save options menu. Navigate down to save, press enter and this brings up a menu to name our saved settings. Once this is saved, it can then be loaded by navigating down to the saved setting and pressing enter on it. Powering the desk down is very simple. Make sure the desk is zeroed, turn off the amplifiers and finally turn off the desk.